guys, welcome back. Today's video is October, October, October favorites. Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is October favorites and there are some old favorites, some new favorites. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, the first thing I will talk about is something I pre-purchase every time I use them all up and that would be the Ardell 120 Demi Lashes. I love these things. I don't have to cut them down. They are the right size for my eye and they just are really, really flattering on pretty much everyone. So, definitely a favorite and this is a double pack that I got from Ulta and it was like $5.99 so that's pretty cheap. Now this brush right here is something I have had in my collection for months now and I kind of overlooked it and it is a no name brush that I got off Amazon. I got this in like a four piece set I think for either $5 or $10. I'm not sure but either way I don't know why I didn't start using this sooner but I love this for foundation. I've been using it for foundation lately and essentially all it is is an angled kabuki brush. Um, and what I like about it is I don't have to, you know, break out my beauty blender because I can actually put my under eye concealer and just pat it in and it blends it seamlessly. So definitely glad that I have this and I'm kind of mad at myself for not using it sooner. So yeah. Oh, also if I can find the link for the seller that I bought this from, I'll leave that in the description box. Now, if you guys have been watching me lately, you know I've been struggling with acne and it's really been driving me crazy. But, and excuse the noise in the background, if you hear anything, Joseph's playing um, Xbox. He usually is pretty loud. So, just ex ignore that. Um, but, anyway, so I have recently... Okay, let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory. I used to use this Neutrogena... I don't remember... It's like an oil-free acne scrub. It was an orange tube type thing and that thing worked great for me for years and I stopped using it. I switched over to a bunch of other things. I'm not going to bore you with that long story but as of lately I've been breaking out a lot. So I went back to what I know and I got a Neutrogena scrub. This one's not the one that I usually get but they didn't have that one so I decided to try this one and it says it's for um, acne stress control and I figure it stresses me out so let's give it a shot. And it's really been, I feel like it's been helping a lot. Like I'm not breaking out as much. And so it's giving a chance for my, giving my skin a chance to like kind of clear up. Which is nice. And I like these scrubs because it doesn't make my skin super dry. Like if you use um, like a foaming cleanser, a lot of times those will over dry my skin. So I really like this one and it's been working pretty well for me. So I'm going to keep it up and hopefully my skin clears all the way up. But I'll keep you guys updated. And I know the last few eye looks I've done have had this palette featured in it or me using at least one of the shades. And I'm sorry because I know I don't like to do it to you guys because I like to give you some like, you know, diversity and use different things. But this palette is so good and I love it so much. It's the Tomata palette from Anastasia and that always happens to me. That brush just drives me crazy. But these colors are seriously so, so nice. I love all of them, and I'm wearing it today again. So, yeah, this palette has been in heavy rotation lately. And it's only 29 bucks, which is pretty affordable for a palette. And I have two things from Inglot in this month's favorite. And I, you guys know, if you watch me for a while, you know I love Inglot, and I use a lot of their stuff here and there but recently I don't know why it took me this long but I just applied for a pro card recently and got one and it gives me a pretty good discount so I'll probably be using a lot more Inglot stuff I'm gonna try and get a Mac pro card too and maybe stock up on some Mac stuff but recently I have picked up the makeup fixer spray um, which this stuff let me just say so much better than any other makeup setting spray or any other facial spray I've ever tried from any other company. I love this thing so much. Um, it literally gives you the most perfect, beautiful satin finish to your skin. Like you could put it on top of the crappiest foundation and it will make it look amazing. So definitely give this one a try if you're looking for a good setting spray. And it doesn't have a scent and it dries quickly and it's like perfection in a bottle. Let's just call it that. The other item I got from Inglot is a liquid face and body illuminator. It's white in the bottle and it does have like a silver glimmer to it. Um, 
I don't use liquid highlighters all that often, but this one I really, really like. The uh, number is number 61. As you know, a lot of Inglots, or if you don't know, a lot of Inglot products are numbered. They don't have names, but they're numbered. So um, this one is like a silver tone. My hands are super dry, so I don't even want to swatch it on my hand, but let me see if I can swatch it on my arm. I'm wearing it today, and what I like about this is it is a liquid. It's kind of a subtle highlight, but it also, it's, it's subtle, but you can still see it, which is what I like. I don't like anything that's like crazy overpowering, um, but it just gives you the most beautiful glow. Now what I will say is if you use a makeup setting spray on top of this, it kind of dulls down the glow a little bit. So what I do is I will set my face let that dry then I go back in with this liquid highlighter and just dab it on the tops of the cheeks bridging the nose you know all the normal spots but this I would recommend for everyone people that are younger people who are a little bit more mature um, it just works great on all skin types um, it does not wear off which is the problem I have with a lot of cream and liquid highlighters is I feel like the staying power is just not that great but this one is really nice it stays stays looking glowy and if you have more mature skin you may not want to put a powder highlight up there if you have maybe a little bit of wrinkling or anything like that it can sometimes emphasize those areas so a liquid or cream highlight is definitely ideal just so you can have your skin looking a little more youthful and glowy without making anything emphasized get what I'm saying also in the way of highlighting, um, I have rediscovered something that's been in my collection for a while. This is the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer and I like this as a highlighter, not so much as a concealer because it honestly doesn't really cover anything. Um, it has really poor coverage but um, as, an, as a highlighter it's perfect. I picked up the lightest shade which is Classic Ivory. And I use this just as like an under eye brightener after I've concealed, after I've put on my foundation and all that. I'll go back in and I will use this as a highlighter and then set the under eye once I've put this on. I like this because it's nice and liquidy and you can really get a great application under the eye. And this I usually gravitate towards too for like everyday use so I'm not using up all my prolonged wear. This I also use as like a, a highlighting concealer. This one actually does have great staying power and um, covers really well. So this I kind of use so I'm not using up all the other one. Now this item I've had for a long time and I got it last year at Bath & Body Works. Maybe even the year before that. I don't know. But every fall slash winter I always go back to this scent as just kind of like an everyday body mist. And it is the Bath & Body Works spray in black amethyst and it is so, so good. It has like such a deep, sweet scent and I'm a huge fan of sweet scents. But it's, it's really kind of musky, sweet. You have to get into a Bath & Body Works and smell it if they still have it. I hope they do because as you can see this is almost gone. But this I've been wearing a lot lately. My last favorite for October is this phone case that I found at Target. It was super cheap, it was $14.99 and it was so pretty, it's so sleek, and I love this little gold design. Everyone calls me B, so I thought it would be a really fitting phone case for me. Honestly, it's probably not gonna protect my phone all that much, but I don't care because it's that cute. Um, also, on a side note, if you guys want, I can do a what's on my iPhone um, video. I, I know those are kinda old, but I haven't had an iPhone in a really long time, so if you guys are curious of the apps and things that I use on here, just let me know and I will get that filmed for you. But that is it for this month's favorites. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.